Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo ThinkPad X380 Yoga version. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the storage or replace it or including how you remove it. If yours is really, you got a 256 gig or you just wanna bump it up, we have upgraded this one up to two terabyte SSD with no problem. The SSDs that we recommend are the Samsung 980 Pros. These are really durable uh, SSDs and reliable SSDs. The link will be in the video description in case you wanna purchase yours and the tools that we use for this video. All right. And just remember by replacing the SSD in here, you have to reinstall the Windows. And for your license, for your Windows license, don't worry about that. It's gonna be linked with your Microsoft account. So once you install the new Windows, you have to just put your Microsoft account and it will auto activate itself. Because it's based on the motherboard and your Microsoft account. All right, so back up your files before you do anything. So you just have to reinstall the windows and just update the windows and all the drivers will be installed. In this video, we're just gonna cover up how to access that hard drive and how you can remove or replace it. All right, so first thing first, back up your files, power it off, flip it upside down and grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. We are gonna be using a Phillips number one from this screwdriver set. And down here, we're gonna loosen up all the screws. I see somebody already opened it up and is lost a screw and replaced it with a different screw. So we're gonna loosen up the screw. The screws will not come out entirely. You just have to rotate until it becomes really loose. And that's it. You just wanna do this to all of them. If any of them just comes out by accident, don't worry about it. You can just pop it back in at the end. So go ahead and loosen up all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Appreciate that. See, that's it. This one right here in the corner, it just came out. I don't know, maybe the neck is broken or something. But doesn't matter. Just grab the bottom cover, put your hand on the bottom, and lift it up. And there we have it. And we can see the internals right in here. There's a Wi-Fi board, and there's your NVMe on M.2 storage here. Okay. Now, to remove this one, you do not need to disconnect the battery. It's absolutely not necessary, not even from the BIOS or anything like that. You don't need to do anything. All you need to do is to just grab a screwdriver, remove that single screw on this end, and lift up about 15 degrees slowly. There's a thermal pad underneath, about 10, 15 degree. And then you wanna pull it backward, just like that. The thermal pad is a 0.5 millimeters. You can just replace the thermal pad if you want to. And this is a Western Digital, I believe uh, 512 gig. You can put a two terabyte NVMe in here with no problem. All the NVMe's, they have one notch on them. So grab a Samsung brand if you wanted the best. A two terabyte, you cannot go over two terabyte, the only reason is it does support up to four terabyte, eight terabyte, but in the four terabyte, there will be double sided chip and it will not sit flat on the motherboard and it can damage the jack. So that's why I always say go up to two terabyte because it will be a single sided chip, all right? So let's say that you got the new hard drive in, new SSD, you wanna slide it inside the jack about 10, 15 degree all the way inside the connector and bring it down, make, su make sure the screw hole right there is matching. And then all you want to do is just put, simply put the screw right at the end of it. You don't need to disconnect the battery or anything like that. Just be careful when you're removing the screw. There's nothing accidentally can shorten down here. So it's all safe. So once you put the new SSD in, all you want to do is just grab the bottom cover, put it right on top. Take the, this back end first in the corner right there and then tighten up the screws and the screws will pull the cover to itself. If you see any gap opening, just pinch them and it will just click back into the palm rest. Also, and if you want to know how to create your Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB boot drive, I'll leave that link in the video description so you can know how to create your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. 
And to install it on a Lenovo laptop, it's pretty easy. Just pop it in and turn it on, and it will automatically start reading the USB, and it will take you to a Windows installation step. You can follow any of my Lenovo Windows installation step if you want to install the Windows the proper way and not have all those bloatware installed in the Windows, or like Candy Clash Extra, affiliated antivirus, stuff like that. So check the links on how to install the Windows properly on Len Lenovo laptops. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next videos.